Howdy crew, got an update on things being bought online for the welding rig, very excited, let's get to it. As I mentioned, there have been plenty of things bought online for the welding rig, I'm very excited for them to come in but they're gonna be coming in in multiple stages. They were not all bought at the same place. They're not all located in the same area, uh, even in the same country. So there's gonna be different things coming at different times. I'm very excited for these unboxings with initial thoughts and reviews. And I'm just very excited for all of it. Some things will have to be pushed back on being bought, such as the welding machine, because as you all saw in a prior video, the truck has been delayed by four. They're having some sort of issue. So the Trailblazer 330 air pack will have to be pushback because I do live in Los Angeles and I don't have the room or equipment to move around a machine like that uh, unless I want to get stolen which I don't so that will have to be pushed back until the truck gets here along with the gas tanks uh, for the different fuels inert gases all that stuff as well as the tank holders uh, the boxes toolboxes all that stuff's gonna have to be pushed back unfortunately but there will be stuff still coming in that won't be as big, but still some really cool stuff. I find it really cool looking, but it's gonna be very useful. It's gonna be uh, utilized and worked with in the welding rig. So it's not just something that looks cool. It's not just to sit somewhere. It's gonna be very utilitarian and it's just gonna work really nicely. And I think it looks really cool. Could there be things that work similarly that don't look cool? Well, sure, but I don't want something that doesn't look cool to me. I'm not here to impress this person, boast that person, and show off to anyone. I'm not here to do that. I want it to look cool for me. When I go out to the welding rig, I'm not here to show off to anyone, to impress anyone. I want it to look cool for me. If no one else thinks it looks cool, I don't care. That, that's not my objective. I want to be happy with it. I want to be happy with the rig to where it looks good for me. And I think that's very important for some of y'all because I know there's a lot of welding rigs on any social media site you pick, just pick one. There's plenty of welding rig pictures and videos to where they have this and everyone thinks that looks awesome. Everyone thinks this looks cool. And some people get sucked into it where they have to have it. Otherwise it's not a true welding rig. And I don't view it that way. A lot of the quote unquote cool welding rigs look pretty stupid in my opinion. I don't need to have huge rims and little tires on there. Just if you're in the mud and you have to go four wheeling to get to a site, it's more likely to break. I want something that's gonna be useful. It doesn't look as, again, quote unquote, cool as some of the other things. I don't care. I wanna be happy with it myself. Now, if you do like that and you're driving on city streets to where you're not worried about being stuck in the mud, go for it. I, I'm not here to tell you no. I may not like the looks of it, but that's just me. My opinion should not matter to you on whether I think something does or does not look cool. Uh, it's not my place. It should not matter whatsoever. Again, anyone's opinion out there that they don't like something that I like, I don't care. I really have no weight to anyone's opinion. There's very few people that I treasure their opinions. Anyone else means absolutely nothing. So if someone does not like the way I do something or they don't think something looks cool on my welding rig, well, Okay, you don't like it, so what? I don't care, That don't face me, you don't like it. Don't bother me. Uh, as long as I'm happy with it, and I think it looks really nice, it's useful, it looks cool, uh, that's what matters to me. I'm not gonna have something that looks trashy. Um, if something is looking worn and beat up, it's because I like it like that. I like something being used, and if it gets worn down and it looks like it's been used because it has been used, well then so be it, there's nothing wrong with that but also I want things to look professional. And if something has a potential to look cool and I have the factor for it to look cool to me, again, not caring about what anyone else thinks, whether it looks cool or not, but it has the potential to look cool to me, well, of course, I'm gonna want that. So I'm gonna throw that out there. If someone doesn't like my style, if someone doesn't like the way I view something as cool, doesn't matter. I really do not care. Uh, that has no meaning to me has no weight to anything that I do. Again, if I view something that doesn't look cool and for some reason I say something doesn't look cool, but you find it really cool, don't take it as offensive. Don't, uh, 
Don't have my version of what looks cool affect what you think looks cool. If you like something, go for it. Who am I to stop you? Uh, it, it shouldn't matter. So if I think something's really, really cool and I get it for the welding rig, and if for some reason everyone else in the world thinks it doesn't look cool, doesn't matter. I like it because it looks cool. Uh, it's going to be used and it's going to be because I want it. So I'm very excited for multiple packages to be coming in and I'm very excited to do the unboxings, initial thoughts and reviews on all this stuff and explain why I have these things. Because again, they're not just to sit around, they are to be used. And I have thought outside the box a little bit on some of these. So I'm very excited to explain why I chose different things, why I chose this instead of that, or why I chose this just in general and why it can compare against something else or why having it versus not having it and all that good stuff. There's so many different things, but I'm very excited about those will be coming in uh, for a little bit. Uh, some of them are being shipped from outside of the U.S. Some are inside the U.S. They're just taking a bit longer to get here. So I'm very excited for all that. Hope y'all enjoy and I'll see y'all in the next video.